Duchess Sophie is a true fashion icon in show-stopping airdem dress that's recycled. The beautiful Duchess of Edinburgh looked stunning on Friday morning as she headed to the Picton Barracks in Bulford, Wiltshire. Braving the colder weather as she happily greeted troops, Sophie looked sensational dressed in the most wonderful coat-style dress by one of her favorite designer labels, Airdem. The mother of two teamed the style with nude high heels and wore her striking blonde hair tied back in a gentle updo. Many call the royal a style icon and it's easy to see why. The mother of Lady Louise Windsor and James, Earl of Wessex favors classic pieces that stand the test of time, but she still enjoys splashes of color and bold prints without looking overpowering, or outlandish. The royal also rewears items from years ago, and they still work today the mark of a truly iconic outfit. Hello viewers, please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon, so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. The 59-year-old joined the royal family at church on Christmas Day in 2017 and stole the show in her Edern floral number. Fans adored the dazzling bold berry tone of the dress and she really stood out as she joined Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Prince and Princess of Wales and King Charles, standing her own in the pretty creation. At the time, Sophie accessorized very similarly in high heel pumps but in navy with a burgundy clutch bag and a subtle yet chic hat. Princess Eugenie even chose to wear a floral dress by the label when she announced the news she was engaged to Jack Brooksbank in 2018. Duchess Sophie surprises in gorgeous fitted leather trousers. Prince Edward's wife was a vision in an autumn wardrobe staple. Duchess Sophie absolutely nailed autumn chic on Friday, as she stepped out for the Cornbury House Horse Trials as a guest of David and Fiona Howden. The Duchess of Edinburgh, 59, looked splendid in a pair of leather trousers which featured a fitted waistline and wide legs. The unexpected bottoms were paired with a pale pink cardigan which was styled buttoned up with her go-to form flattering blazer in a taupe hue with a navy check pattern. Rounding off her look was a pair of light brown heeled ankle boots. Her hair was worn down and blow-dried with a pair of stylish tortoiseshell sunglasses holding her locks off her face. The royal enjoyed watching the eventing and dressage before meeting some of the riders throughout the day. The royal was last seen wearing leather in May when she attended day two of the Royal Windsor Horse Show in Home Park in a fitted midi skirt from Vince styled with a structured khaki blazer from Me Plus M. The Duchess loves to wear a fitted blazer in the cooler months to nip in her silhouette. Looking back to last September, we remember the mother of two's most accomplished transitional outfit, a snakeskin skirt and blouse from Emilia Wickstead worn to visit the stable and wick bakery and farm shop and the Gull Outdoor Therapy and Activity Centre in Salisbury. For warmth, Prince Edward's wife opted for a white single-breasted blazer, but made the most of the last of the sun in a pair of heeled wedges. Meanwhile, last February the Duchess rocked a blazer and boots combo to the British Cycling National Track Championships in Manchester courtesy of Alexander McQueen and Prada respectively. As the weather cools down, royal fans can look forward to the highlights of Duchess Sophie's impeccable winter style. The King's sister-in-law looked particularly put together in 2022 when she stepped out for the Christmas Day service at Sandringham in two winter wardrobe must-haves, a long-line wool coat and knee-high boots. The Royal is also not afraid of using colour in her winter wardrobe. Last December, Sophie attended the Princess of Wales together at Christmas Carol service at Westminster Abbey where she rocked a stunning vivid blue coat by Susanna London with warm brown giant Vito Rossi suede boots. In a recent flare-up with Andrew, King Charles terminated the employment of ten Royal Lodge security personnel. The Duke of Edinburgh's wife Sophie and his other siblings, Anne and Edward, are reportedly unhappy with the monarch's handling of the matter, according to a source. Women's Day was informed by the source that Charles is deeply concerned about his family's current situation. It seems like everyone has problems, whether they be legal, financial, or health-related. 
The family has become somewhat estranged as a result of Andrews and the Royal Lodge's condition, Edward, Anne, and Sophie are all dissatisfied with his handling of the situation. And there's the horrible circumstance with his two cherished boys. The insider went on to say that Queen Camilla is furious with the King's response to the Duke of York's treatment, as are Andrew's ex-wife Sarah Ferguson and his daughters Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. There are disagreements between Eugenie, Sarah, and Beatrice because they firmly believe Andrew is not receiving enough protection. Even though Camilla is the one who puts up with his irritability the most, he's managed to upset her. In 2003, Prince Andrew, and the Crown Estate secured a 75-year lease for the Royal Lodge. Refusing to vacate Royal Lodge, Andrew intends to leave his lease to his daughters upon his passing. Since Andrew had been denied armed police protection, the King had been paying £3 million a year for private security guards. Regarding the security staff, an insider stated, they are all working the last few weeks of their contracts till the end of October. Nobody is rumored to be in line to take their place. The king wants him out, that much is known. A limited edition silk headscarf line inspired by his late mother, Queen Elizabeth II, has been introduced by King Charles. The eco-friendly design team Vin plus Omi, who have partnered with the monarch to create 100 vibrantly colored scarves, are currently selling for £85 a piece at the Sandringham Estate Shop. The clothing has striking floral designs that are evocative of the late Queen's frequent wear. The King himself chose one of the three final design iterations that were produced. This project honors the famous style of Queen Elizabeth II, who was known for wearing silk scarves tied over her head, especially when attending outdoor events or being on the royal estates. Eco-friendly methods are used in the creation of these head scarves. The environmental cost of production has been countered by the implementation of a carbon offset program. As part of this project, every milk carton from the Sandringham canteen will be gathered and recycled into furniture. The designers also turn a plastic bottle from their cleanup projects into microfiber-bonded textiles for every milk carton they gather. The late Queen possessed an extensive assortment of headscarves, featuring prints from the 1960s, paisley patterns, classic floral designs, and even dog-themed designs, probably as a tribute to her cherished corgis. She was known to prefer the usually £300 scarves designed by French designer Hermès. There's more to the partnership with Vin plus Omi than just headscarves. Royal Garden Waste to Fashion's Future, an exhibition featuring the designers, is on display at Sandringham, until October 11th. They talked about their creative method of turning nettle stems into fabric. Inspired by their efforts, the king gave them nettles from his Highgrove garden to use for their projects. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.